Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to be doing a video, or I should say tonight, on uh, sharpening my knives, and I'm going to be sharpening a knife, and so basically I'm just going to be giving you guys a rundown on what I use to sharpen my stuff, and uh, exactly how I do it, um, so hopefully I'll make this quick, limit's now 15, you guys saw with the Benundi, it went to 15, so uh, hopefully I can keep this shorter than that, but it is the sharpening process, so it is going to take a little bit more time, so if you guys are interested in that, um, stick through, and uh, it's super simple, and I'll let you guys know what I got here. So, bringing the screen down here, um, you will see that I'm using a Spyderco Sharp Maker, Triangle Sharpener. I have the Ultra Fine Rods here, and I have a couple straps here. I will only be using one, but I brought both in the picture here just because, to show you guys, there's different sizes. Uh, these straps are made by Mr. Number 2 Blue, so Mr. 2 Blue on blade forms and uh, he's actually kind of local to me and uh, these are made with sapelli wood uh, hand carved and sanded down and whatnot with some nice leather sealed to the tops of them so I have a smaller one here and the larger one obviously the larger one will be more useful for bigger blades small one for your smaller knives um, bigger ones kinda better in the long run just because you got more surface obviously so this is the last step of sharpening I'll get to that. Um, as far as the sharp maker goes, inside the sharp maker, um, inside the kit, you have two fine rods that you get, and you have two uh, coarse rods that you get. And then, of course, we have the two safety rods, which you should use. I don't always use them for the purpose of this video. I probably will just to set a good example. Um, so I'll set those up now. As you can see, inside the sharp maker. This thing's awesome. You've really got so many different ways you can sharpen with this thing. But as you can see here, there's holes in here. That's where you're going to be placing the rods. Uh, these here are just to protect your hands while you're sharpening. So you'll be holding it and while you're sharpening here. This will protect from the knife going over. Um, coarse rods. You typically only need to use the coarse rods if your blade's extremely dull, chipped, or maybe you have like a really bad rolled edge. But typically, you're just going to need the fine rods to touch up your blades. And uh, all three, so I have the ultra fine here to make bring them up to that next step, smooth them out, make them even sharper. So uh, starting with the fine rods, um, the triangle rods, as you can see here, are a triangle shape. You can either sharpen using the flat sides or the corners. For me, I've found that using the corners is easier and uh, gets the job done for you know my specific needs. Uh, using the flat sides will give you a more um, a cleaner. Um, sharpening but um, I'm not a pro at using the flats kind of hard to keep the knife even on them using the corners of the rods here as you can see uh, just seems to be easier for me anyway so as you see here um, it's all set up this is uh, pretty much what you call a croc stick and that's when you have both of the sharpening mediums and uh, I'm going to be sharpening the buck TNT today so just to show you guys it's uh, still pretty sharp but it's still got a little bit of drag. You see there, it's not quite the sharp, as sharp as it can be. Uh, so basically all you're going to do is you're going to hold it with one side and you want to keep it nice and even in front of you and uh, you're just going to be keeping the knife completely straight. So I'll actually turn sideways a little bit so you can see this a little bit better how it's happening. But you're going to try to keep the, the knife as uh, straight as possible and you're going to start at the back of the knife and you're just going to slide all the way straight back. And then once it gets to the drop point, you just bring it up a little bit so it gets that whole edge. And you're going to be doing that on both sides. Now you can do this fast, you can do it slow. If you're new at it, you want to do it slower. Um, and you want to use almost no pressure. So as you see, I'm not going to be grinding it on the rods. You're just going to be holding it lightly. I'll even use two fingers or just the three. And you're just going to let it slide, just fall on it. So holding it here. Um, depending on how dull the knife is, you know, it depends on how many strokes you want to do. I'll typically do 15 on each side, so um, I'll just count one, two, so forth. So let's do it. can get kind of boring I know. So that's already 15 there. You'll notice I didn't go all the way down to the drop point just because um, I like to take care of the flat surface first. It's the easiest to sharpen. 
um, Warren Cliff blades are the easiest. Once you start getting into those drop points is when you have to start moving the knife a little bit, which makes it a little bit harder, especially on the desk amount. It's kind of up high. So that's 15-15 right there already. Um, I'm just going to give it uh, one more go just to make sure that you know, it gives a nice semi toothy edge with the fine rods here. And I'll bring up with the ultras to smooth it out. Okay, so that should be good enough. Um, I forgot to point out on this, um, the, the setting I have it on is 40 degrees, which is the most average angle you're going to be doing. And it's not going to be cutting along the relief edge completely. What it's going to do is it's going to be putting a micro bevel on it. So you guys can see the relief edge, which is that shiny part on the cutting edge. And the micro bevel is going to put an even smaller edge on that. And uh, I find that's the easiest way for me to keep knives sharp. Um, this also has a 30 degree angle, which is on this side, which spider codes are normally set up from factory, at least for that's what they shoot for. And as you'll see, this is more wider out versus if I put it in the 30s, you see it's, it's much more straight up. So 30 degrees is more acute versus the more obtuse of the 40 degree here. So 40 is what's going to be putting in the micro bevel. Spider code, if you're sharpening spider codes, they do recommend putting it on 30 first. That way you're going to be sharpening the shoulders of the knife, which is right above the relief edge or on the relief edge. And then to give it that nice micro bevel, you're going to switch it over to the 30 or, or to the 40. And so that's what I'm working with now because I'm using the buck here. So after those swipes, going to just change out the fine rods and uh, move over to the fine rods, ultra fine. So that will be putting a smoother edge on the knives than that of the fine rods even. So this will clean it up a bit and uh, give it a cleaner, uh, cleaner edge, which ultimately will slice better. So once again, just you know, typically you know it, it'll vary depending on how dull your knife is or how sharp you want to get it. But I typically do about 30, I guess, on each side. Already 15 there, and I'll do the drop point. And as you see, you just want to let the knife drop, and you just you're you're bringing it back. So as you go down, you're just bringing it back on both sides. And you, you also want to be careful too, because when you go down, you don't want to push off to the side. You want to stop at the edge and then let it go. Because if you're pushing off, you're going to round the edge. It's going to be a pain in the butt to bring it back to a sharp edge. So as you see, all the way down. And you want to keep the knife as straight as possible while you're doing this. So that's already quite a few swipes. I'll do a few more here. There we go. So now that I'm done with the fine rods, that is it for the sharp maker um, for touching up. So this video is strictly just for touching your blade up, not bringing back a super dull edge or chips or rolls. So just setting this aside here. I don't think I need to show you guys how to put it back together unless you really want that. And uh, that's when you bring in the strop. Now, when you strop, Basically all the straps that are going to be doing is, all, all the leather does is it's not technically sharpening the knife. What it does is that, as you guys see here, is by using these rods, these ceramic rods, um, you're going to create small burrs on the edge, which is basic, basically just like little, little toothy bites on the edge. And so in order to remove the little bits of metal that um, has been taken off by the rods, um, that's what the leather does. It basically just cleans your edge up. So say if you um, kick sand, you know, on a surfboard 
or you know just sand on any just smooth surface you're gonna feel the sand and it's gonna be gritty and in order to get that sand off you're gonna brush it off and so brushing it off or you know maybe if you're using a towel or whatever that's pretty much what the leather is so the, re the leather is gonna smooth out the sand or you know the metal grains that are on the edge so in order to shrop all you need to do is lay the knife down on the leather and you're just gonna be pulling back and you really want to keep just the relief edge so just that shiny part that you see there, that's all that you want laying down on leather. You don't want your knife flat. You want it lifted up, and you, you can feel the edge that's on it. And I typically, you know, I've got the handle here, so I put it up on an incline. Makes it easier. Once again, it's all subjective to how many times you need to do this. And uh, I like to do it one direction first. You've already lost count. But then you just bring it back over. And this is simply what you do. Now, um, I don't have what they call a compound, which is paste that you can put on a leather. And these compounds have, uh, you know, they have stuff called like one micron diamond paste, and it's got little particles that will put on the, the leather. And they got, you know, different grains, so that will put a even smoother, sharper edge on it if you're using compounds. But I do not currently own any. And uh, I'm, I am satisfied with what I have here, but once it gets to the point where you want like complete hair, tree topping knives, and a super polished edge, you're definitely going to need to move it up to uh, microns and spray, and even finer rods than that that I have. But as you see here, this is all I do to touch up my knives, fine rods to ultra fine rods, and I just touch it up with the straw here. So this should have a pretty decent result, at least I hope, for you guys here on video. So, now let's see what the cuts can do. Like butter. You guys see that? Stuff right there. <laughs> Super smooth. Now it's just, it's cutting like butter. So, it's extremely impressive. I'm no pro, but I mean, just using the sharp maker is just so easy. This is just some thin receipt paper. So, as you can see, they're very smooth clean cuts. You can see it's very clean. There's not any like fuzzy stuff going on on the paper there. So it's cutting very nicely. Here's on some printer paper. A little bit thicker. And we'll see here. As you can see there, it's doing a pretty darn good job of cutting now, and uh, pretty much whittled all that paper there. And I have to say the the S30B, the Boss Heat Treat on the Buck TNT is amazing. So as you saw, it was uh, a little bit dull in the beginning there, but now it's just it's shaving sharp, and I I can literally shave hair off my arm with this. Now, let me first, I don't know if you can see that on the blade there, all the hair residue, but I can pull up a tiff of hair. I was just shaved off my arm. So hair shaving sharp using fine stones, ultra fine stones, and uh, the, uh, just a little bit of stropping. And you got all that hair on the blade there. So extremely sharp, and uh, as you guys saw there, in about... 10 12 minutes, and that's with me changing and talking. So, that is how I touch up my knives, and uh, they get some, they get pretty darn sharp. And uh, yeah, so if you guys made it through this 15 minutes, awesome, and uh, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Take it easy.